Shalom. Shalom. Give a couple of all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double answers to the elders by Hashem Rakaku Das Lakia. Double answers to the elders, the apostles of GMS, and honors that is the brothers and the highest by his teaching the truth and all sincerity. Okay, today's topic, you know, he's going to be speaking on pride, you know, going off the back of, um, you know, the abomination festival that um, just passed this by on Saturday. You know, um, you know, and pride, and pride in general, man, as well. You know, because you know, basically, this, this pride that these people have, everyone holds within themselves, man. Because they call pride a virtue, like you know, saying good, man. Yeah. But man, that that's all vanity, man. Really, pride is a a, a doctrine of Satan, man. Okay, because you're not meant to have be proud of yourself. You know, have you know, have pride in yourself to, to, to boast yourself basically above your measure, man. Because that's all it is, man. That's all, that's all folly, man. You, you, you're acting like you're, you're um. The hell of your father, the most high. Well, he's the one that can be proud, you know. But these, these, these feeble idiots out right here are proud in their, de de what is it? How want to say? It? Degeneracy, man. Mm -hmm. and that's what they're pr proud about, man, which is. Doubly off that you know, and you know, the pride is really a sickness and, a, and, and a, an illusion that people run under believing they can do what the hell they want or able to do what they want without no shame or no remorse. You know, they have the right to do that because Esau has given them all kind of bullshit uh, rights and you know, written laws for people, and you know. That would give them license to do certain things, man. So now they don't feel ashamed about doing certain things. Okay, but like, like I said, that's not the way it's meant to be, man. And this is what happens in, in the kingdom run, run by Satan. You know, he's made you feel proud, you know, above your measure, man. Okay, and you know, like I said, pride is, pride is not meant for man. Got it. You got that there? Yeah, pride is not meant for man. Okay, we're going to get that in the scriptures, man. Yeah. Sirach 10 and 18. Pride was not made for men. All right? No furious anger for them that are born of a woman. All right? So like I said, no man has any business about being proud in, him, in himself. Okay? Because we're just pieces of shit on earth, really. You know, we're basically nothing in comparison to the grand scheme of things. You know? The Heavenly Father here created everything that you see around us, man, through His Son, okay, and the angels and that, okay? Only He can be proud of Himself and what He is able to accomplish, because really, we can't accomplish nothing without the Heavenly Father, okay? So any any proudness inside yourself is misplaced, because really, it's the most High that allows you to do anything, okay? So you can't be proud that, oh, look, I did this and, you know, I can be that, and you know, I did this with my own back, hard work. I went through so much because you know, you hear all these stories about people, man, talk about you know what they've been through, and you know, trying to make themselves sound like they've done, made some sort of success of themselves and shit, you know. But anything you're given is given by the Heavenly Father, man. So all, all thanks and glory really goes to Him, or should go to Him, okay. But you got, you got assholes out here, you know, feeding themselves, man. Okay, like like they're somebody like they, they've accomplished something. Okay, which you know which puts them above other people. Okay, that's not how shit works, man. You got something else there? Yeah, this is Proverbs twenty nine and twenty three. A man's pride shall bring him low, mm -hmm. but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. And basically, um, you know, you want anything that's worthy to be upheld is humility. All right, we're only worthy to be um, humiliated, man. All right, because we're what we're pieces of shit. I, I obviously because we're on a low level, so there's nothing to 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 be proud about. So any any man that has pride, he's going to be brought low. Why? Because he's going to be convicted when 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 certain things happen to him that he has no power or strength to stop them things from happening, man. All right, the heavenly Father is going to be exalted in, in in the days to come, man. But these guys that are proud. Such as uh, Esau's military, all these um, um, LGBT and so forth, women's rights. All right, men considering themselves to be um, a, 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 above um, the nation of Israel, the Lord, the men of the Lord. 
everyone's going to be brought low because it's only the heavenly father uh, and his son who's going to be exalted along with the men um, that the Lord has chosen but anyone else outside of that all right which which it all comes from through a, a line of humility man and the, the greatest example of that humility is Yahweh Shai himself all right Yahweh Shai had the power um, to to um, to destroy this place man all right he actually had that power but he, he honored his, the heavenly father's will he said if it was it was time my servants would fight man if this was my kingdom yeah because this kingdom wasn't his it was satan's can't okay and it's the same time as is at, at this moment in time it's under satan's rulership man okay that's why we're not fighting yet <laughs> you know we're not fighting yet but when but, the lord comes to take this place that's when we go we'll go join the the, the fight okay, to that, take the kingdom down that that's that just reiterating that's why we're pieces of shit man because i'll be honest with you man you know not that I, i'm saying look if if just from my carnal mind, man, if I was to have spiritual power, I'll probably use it. Probably want to use it. Oh, of course, all day long. <laughs> because, you, did, did, you know, surely oppression make of a wise man mad, you know? But Yahweh Shai was wise, but he's a, a different kind of special special um, uh, entity, man. Special spirit. That's why we, we you know, we, we, have, we have to wait to, um, wait upon, the, the Lord said, wait ye upon me, man. Uh, that the Lord will rise up to the prey all right and then certain men are gonna have the spiritual power and that the Lord's dealing with for that time you know but we're not in that time of, of, of um, ex we're not in a time of exalting ourselves period but you've got people out there that want to exalt themselves in the scripture like we just read man um, they're gonna be brought low and starting with the the, the so-called white man who's um, pop made popular pride throughout throughout his rulership that's why the scripture says um, um, basically along the line I can't, I'll, I'll have to look for it since Esau come into power um, wickedness has um, multiplied and, and part of that wickedness is pride but I'll look for that scripture anyway yeah but like I was saying man you know that is a doctrine of Satan man this is, this is a doctrine that's spread out in the world you know to cause people to do wickedness Okay, that that is what it's all about. Pride, pride um, creates wickedness, man. You know, believing in, in oneself to do whatever comes to their mind to do. Okay, so you know, on the back of you know what was going on in gay pride, man, I, you know, I like I like how they sum it up, man. I like their slogan, pride. Yeah, make it. Because because it just it just shows you the spirit that that these people have, man, and how the Lord looks upon those with pride, man. You know, it's not you know, this is not just speaking about their their their, their um, perverseness, okay? But just just dealing with their pride is enough to have them destroyed, okay? On top of their abominations, man, and all the other wickedness that they do, okay? Well, brother, can you give me uh, Leviticus chapter eighteen, verse twenty-two, man? Just to just to deal with them. Leviticus chapter eighteen, verse twenty-two. I mean, because you see, like, we're not, we're not, we're not went to camp um, Saturday, man. They had the, the floats and that going by through through London and that, and it, it just seems like, you know, this 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 festival or whatever you want to fucking call it, just gives them license to act as perverse as they possibly can. Because during the week, they're not, you know, they're not fucking. You should see, not that you should see it, <laughs> oh, man. okay, but you should have seen, you know, how the fuck these 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 abominations were were dressing and shit, man. Just so they can get attention, man. Oh man, the, the things I saw, man, that day, bro. You know what I mean? It shouldn't be seen by no man or, or woman, man. But that day in particular, I mean, cause you know these 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 homosexuals, man, they go about the business or whatever, they go work on that shit, man. But they they just seem to think, fuck it, it's, it's, it's gay pride today. I want to go all out and be as wicked and you know perverse as I can, to be man. Undercover at least, like you know. But these oh, these people ain't got no fucking shame, man. Okay, they, they they want you know but that's that pride okay and that is you know the reason they're gonna be destroyed man you know on top of all their all their abominable acts man they're gonna be destroyed okay because they're not they got not they, they're not got nothing to um uh what, what's that word man it's like you know to hold themselves back by yeah. 
okay, if you understand what I'm saying. Okay, they've got no real code of conduct, man. Okay, okay they, don't, they don't have no code of conduct, man. Where we have the yeah, scriptures and you to you live by certain rules and stuff like that, man. With, with these these homosexuals, these abominations, man. These transgenders and so on, man. They got no no um, boundaries. Yeah, no fucking boundaries, man. Okay, which can lead them to anything and doing anything, man. And that's what they that's what they exhibit when they're out. Okay, and you know, I said they're gonna be destroyed. Grab that up. Yeah, Leviticus 18 and 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. Okay, so there is no great areas in terms of the scriptures about how the Lord feels about you, you homosexuals, man. Okay, and you transgender, you know, the rest of you LGBTQ fucking XW times to the power of whatever. Alphabet. You know, you're included in, in that, man. You're all abominations, man. Okay, because you're you're um, contrary to nature, man. You're contrary to what the Most High has set up. Okay, in in in, in his righteousness and in, in order and in decency, man. You're contrary to all of that. Okay, you're all abominations, man. You're not how you're not the original design of how things are supposed to be upon the earth, man. Okay, so you you're gonna suffer, man. You're gonna be destroyed. The Most High looks at, looks at you as abominations, man. Okay, so I, I don't get how you, some of you, you, you homos, man, can be holding up Bibles and believing it. So you say you believe in God and that. I don't know who taught you that. I don't know who taught you that, man. But that ain't true. Okay, you'll get burnt. Okay, sir. First Maccabees 1 and uh, 7. Alright, this is um, basically an example of. Um, basically. Um, a, a ruler who was a homosexual, all right, who went conquering, like as if you read in uh, the book of Daniel's, it tells you the different um, the different empires that existed, and this one's going into the Greek Empire and and its ruler. So anyway, it says First Maccabees one and seven. So Alexander reigned twelve years, which you can imagine, he was hella proud because he had just conquered the previous kingdom. All right, and and then died, which is considered, if I'm not mistaken, that he died of a sexual transmitted disease. He was a homosexual. Um, syphilis, I think it was. Yeah, and his servants bear rule every one in his place. So they took different parts of the, the kingdom, split it up, right? Uh, and after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. So they just assumed the the seat of rulership, but it wasn't from no no line of royalty. All right. Uh, and that's a vain thing right now. Even even the royal family is sitting up there right now. That's that's pride. You claim to be the the people of um, the heavenly father. You know, God saved the queen and all that. But you ain't the true the true people of God, man. All right. Job nine and twenty four. They cover the the faces of the judges thereof, man. The Israelites are the real judges. When you go up into these different um, churches, old old churches, man. You'll find out there's um, icons and so forth that you can see that they have a melanin, man. All right, Jake's Israelites. So that's pride in itself, putting on crowns upon themselves. It, it continues to say, so did their sons after them many years. So that's a generation thing of pride. Um, it says, and evils were multiplied in the earth. All right, so ever since Esau came into power, there ain't been nothing but a, um, a projection of wickedness and, and pride going into the earth, man. And it's infected every faction and facet of, of society. I wouldn't say Esau is, is the, the reason for that, because pride has been in all nations from, from the time. Okay, but the thing is, the world, the world has never been in a worse situation that, than it has been under the rulership of Esau. Okay, because pride has been has been in in all men throughout all ages, right, man, right. and this is why the Messiah come up to destroy them all. That's right. why all these kingdoms are for pride, man, you know, amongst other things. Mm -hmm. Okay, but all men are proud of mm -hmm. themselves. Okay, and like like we read earlier, pride is not made for man. Okay, so when you start feeling yourself, thinking that you know, I'm the shit. Okay, that is when shit goes wrong, man, because really you're meant to glorify the Heavenly Father that. Put you in that position, man. You know. 
But yeah, but the point is, man, you know, evils are multiplied under under Esau, man. Yeah, perfected mm -hmm. under Esau's rulership, and it's only getting worse, man. You know, but like I said back in the day, things they it used to be a bit more people that homosexuals used to be a bit more wary about exposing that kind of behavior in public. Well, it used to be against the law. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it used to be against the law in this land. Let's put it that way. It's always been against the law with the Heavenly Father. But here, you know, that's a new thing, man. You know, you weren't allowed to come out and open, man. Yeah, come out and open, man. Like <laughs> you weren't allowed to, man. But Esau is now giving you license to do all these wicked and abominable works, man. And I think... Yeah, Esau, Esau gives license to everyone to, to do those things. Give me uh, Isaiah chapter 3 verse 9. Oh, sure. This is... Uh, this is right. Isaiah chapter 3 verse 9. It says, The show of their countenance doth witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom, they hide it not. Okay, so it's not hidden. Okay, this, this is the most perverse generation we've ever been, you know, that's ever existed. You know, comparable to what was going on pre-flood, man. You mm -hmm. know, the law is speaking out how perverse they were. Okay, and you know, evil continual. Well, that's that's like here now. Everything is all fucked up. Okay, all all abominable things are being allowed on this earth. Okay, we know we know real leash on it, on it man it's like yeah just go out and you know it could be anything next week something else could pop up man you know that lgbtq could be some next deriv derivation of alphabet letters yeah, <laughs> you know could be anything you know esau is allowing it to run and he's promoting that man that's why you can't go out nowhere without being you know seeing it or being trying to be influ uh, influenced by it in your tvs your radios people talking about it making you feel bad because you don't you ain't down with it <laughs> you ain't you ain't down with this system man you ain't you ain't like other people no well that's right we ain't Preset. okay we ain't down with this society man because this is this society is wicked man okay and you know this place is gonna be destroyed man and i don't want no part in that Why not? Uh, micah two and one woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. So basically, they've devised, you know, different um, ideas in secret to try and slowly, progressively get people into accepting homosexuality, transgenderism and all these different things. And even um, um, child molestation and shit. They're trying to make it like it's a, 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 a mental illness now. Like it's, uh, you know, it's not punishable by jail, which it can be treated and shit. Oh, well, you know, no, that, that, and, that, and, that's, and that's now, man. But like I said, where Esau lifted the lid on it, man, anything can be excused. Yeah. And accept, accepted, man. Because you, if you're trying to tell me that, you know, feeling lust toward another man, if you're a man and, you know, vice versa, you know, woman and woman and shit, if you think that's a normal mental condition, man, hmm. it's something wrong with you, man. Okay? But Esau... Because that's like you trying to excuse, no. you know, pedophiles and shit, man, because... They, they have a, a burning lust toward children. Go on. So, well, what, you gonna allow that too? Just because someone, someone wants it doesn't mean it should be allowed. You, you need to sort that, do that. Mm -hmm. You know, to get put to death, you know, is the only real solution, man. If it can't be, uh, uh, if you can't repent. <laughs> okay. But yeah, go on, I think you're saying. Yeah, no, it says, um, they devise evil upon, and work evil upon their beds. So they've been basically planning on getting the public to accept as much wickedness and uh, as possible. Yeah, all the time. Mm -hmm. and, and when they when they achieve it, which they have achieved, uh, uh, all these um, blind bats out there, you know, these nigglets, Jake, they want to act like, well, as long as, you know, it don't affect me, you know, mm -hmm. I don't care. But really, they're, they're but some there's down a lot of Jake, guys. There's a lot of Jake involved now. Yeah, it's, yeah. Not even, it's not even just, you know, Jake sitting back. There's a lot of Jake involved in this bullshit now, this madness, yeah. man. You know, and they only need to put the death, man. If they, you know, the Lord, if the Lord ain't gonna, ain't gonna, ain't gonna help you, man, you, you know, you guys need to be put to death. Okay, it's as simple as that, man. Because you should have no business in, 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 
any of that. The yeah, scripture says okay. the way the wicked seduceth them, man. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, it goes on to say, when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Right, yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. Okay, we've finished reading Isaiah 3 verse yep. 9. It says, Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Say, say ye to the righteous that it is, it yeah, shall. That's, that's, that's it, that's all right. Yeah, man, they should they will reward evil upon themselves, man. Because like I said, the Lord ain't with that, man. Okay? And you're going to find that in due time, man. All this, all this pride shit. You, you ain't going to be proud in that day, man. You will, you will feel real ashamed, man. Okay, while, you, while you're getting burnt up, man. Okay, you have the audacity to come up to us, man, talking like we can't be against you. Yeah. Why not? Why can't we be against you, man? You're talking about, you know, because these are the same people that, oh, yeah, love and equality and all this kind of shit. They fight for every fucking political correct thing on the, on the planet just so they can further their own agenda. Okay, but you can't you can't express your, your opinion or scriptures for this matter. You know, you can't stand against them, man, because Esau's backing them. That's why they feel like that. Okay, when Esau ain't backing the scriptures now... <laughs> <laughs> Anything can be done there, isn't it? Alright? I've got a preset. Oh, no. uh, this is Psalms 10 and 4. The wicked, through the pride, remember we had the Edomites all stop on, on, on this, this day, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. coming up to us, man, with, with, with their, pri their pride. This is the wicked, through the pride of his countenance, bold face, come up to us, will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts. Alright? But then he, at the same time, He's gonna come to us like he's more righteous than us. Yeah. <laughs> and stand there bold face and say, oh, God loves everybody. Mm -hmm. God loves me the way I am. You they're, know? they're little fucking hypocrites, and man. You don't love this <laughs> word. Okay, so you should talking shit, man. The fact is that, we, you know, you're abomination and we, we stand up against abomination, man. Okay, that is our view. Okay, and you, you, you shouldn't be forcing people <laughs> to, 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 to believe your bullshit. Okay? This day ain't right, man. Okay, how, how is that equal? <laughs> okay. His, it says his ways are always grievous. It, it, it causes grief, man. Just to see these devils doing all that shit and just walking around. It, it psychologically st st stains your mind, man. You're just thinking, I'm riding, tra I could have crashed, man. I saw a guy in a dress with short hair looking like actually looking like half of a bald black woman with fucking hairy legs in a dress, man, in high heels. With, with, with a beard, man. That's why I, I, I try not to look up, man. That's grievous, I man. I, I, I was dressed. I was riding, man. Yeah, oh, it was floor, disturbing, man. man. Anyway, it goes on to say, uh, That's it. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. He hath said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. And that's the attitude of these, these devils, man. They think that they can just do all this wickedness in the earth, show, show forth their pride, and then just act like, yeah, I, I shall not be moved. They come up against this truth, they come up against the men of the Lord, teaching, sighing and crying, doing what we're supposed to do. And then they, and they want to act like we should be the ones that should be moved. They try to get brothers arrested. And that shows their pride, man, against the Heavenly Father. The Lord Heavenly Father has ordered us men, commanded us men, to be out there and teach, man. Well, like I said, though, this is the influence of Satan, man. This is Satan's kingdom, man. And when Satan's protecting abominations, man, they feel proud. <laughs> they feel proud, man. you know? And that's why we we don't we don't fit in a society, man, because we're not down with this. Yeah, because the way of, Satan runs shit here, man. Yeah, man. You're all under inf under the influence of Satan. <laughs> His whole system, everything you believe in, is of Satan, man. Okay, and all we're simply doing is standing against it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're gonna be dem demonized for doing that because we don't agree. We don't have to agree, man. Okay, that's okay. We 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 can argue until the missus comes. It's fine. Mm -hmm. I don't mind. Okay, because at the end of the day, what we say is what it what it's gonna be, man. Okay, what you got right now, man, that that's all, you know. That's just now, okay, and it ain't gonna last very long. 
Okay, so yeah, enjoy it while, while you last, man, because you know you don't take heed, man. You won't find yourself on the end of a missile, man. Okay. Uh, bro, you can get me. Um, oops. What was it? Well, quick reset. Yeah, this is Isaiah 2 and 11. The lofty looks of man shall be humbled, and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down, and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. Amen. Uh, when the Heavenly Father uh, returns, Heavenly Father's Son returns, man, people are gonna, you know, people are gonna know that only the Heavenly Father's Son and, and, and the Heavenly Father's name is gonna be exalted on the earth. But as for the name of Esau, it's gonna be blotted out. It says, for the day of the Lord of Ho Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty and upon everyone that is lifted up and he shall be brought low that's right yep that's it the day of the Lord is upon upon the proud man okay well um, from give me uh, uh, it's first John chapter 2 verse 16 This is First John, chapter two, verse sixteen. Mm -hmm. It says, "For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world." Right. So, whose world is it? Satan, world, Satan's man. world, man. Okay. So, and, that, and that's Israelites and heathen alike. Okay. This is of the world, man. All this pride of life bullshit, yellow, and all that kind of man. That's just Satan. That's just Satan. Mm -hmm. Okay, you you are taught and raised by Satan. That's why you have these uh, ideas and opinions, man. You don't have no. You ain't got nothing righteous to say. Okay, you've been raised up by the devil. Okay, and you have to, you have to come to terms with that, man. Everything you've been taught has been of Satan. Okay, what we're bringing to you is, is the, the pure truth, man, the true light of this world, man. Okay, but you're not interested in that. I'm interested in the World Cup. Mm. You know, don't get me wrong, I mean, I watched a couple of games, you know. <laughs> so what, man? These men are busting their ass to go pay for matches and shit. Oh, they're praying, they're praying, please, England win. Yeah, like, that's going to change. Know the, what they did to Jake. Change their life. During them football matches. <laughs> Um, Proverbs 8 verse 13 please up. Okay, yeah. This is the book of uh, Proverbs 8 verse 13. It says the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Right, so you're meant to hate things that are not right with this world man. Okay, hate evil, hate things that are bad. Okay, what's bad? Things that are in the scriptures to be known as bad. Contrary to the scriptures. Okay, contrary to what Satan is telling you. Because Satan is always going to tell you that ain't bad. Yeah, That's his done. job. Done. Okay, anything he says, he sanctions and says it's cool, you better fucking think twice about it, man. You better, oh, he said I can do this. Oh, I should probably check that out. You better look through the scriptures, man. Okay, and see if that's, that's right or not. Because the majority of shit he told you, man, you shouldn't be doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, such is the world we live in, man. Okay. You license homosexuals? No, you shouldn't be doing that. Okay, you should be wailing and crying. This place will be destroyed. Okay, go on, finish. Uh, so, like, what verse was it again? Thirteen. Thirteen. It says, "The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, mm -hmm. so and you, so you gotta hate pride too." Mm -hmm. Okay, so there should be no pride in you. You know. If there is, man, you should hate it. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not, it's not something you should feel good about. Okay, because you ain't shit. Ain't, <laughs> ain't nobody shit, man. You ain't, get, you ain't done a damn thing for anything, for nobody, for the most high, nobody. Okay, go on now. And arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. Those are just chat shit. Always the same, the same man. But no substance, man. Just full of shit, wickedness, boasting. You know, and people are full of it, man. Okay, that's why it's irksome to listen to people, man. 
Because you're here trying to teach shoots, man. All they, all they can do is talk shit. You know, you're trying to deal with people, man, answer questions, and all they're doing is talking shit. <laughs> and it's irksome to hear. You know, and that, and that's why we get vexed in the spirit, man. Um, Psalm chapter 31, verse 18, Baruch Hashem. I've got a quick piece set, Baruch Hashem. Uh, what one was that? Friday's eight four before God. Uh, get this one first. Show this. Um, Psalms thirty one and. Come on. Uh, Psalms thirty one. Eighteen and eighteen. And this is Psalms thirty one and uh, eighteen. Let the lying lips be put to silence, mm -hmm. which speak grievous things proudly, yeah, and contemptuously against the righteous. That's right, man. But like I said, you, know, you, you speak so proud of these things that are wicked, okay, not knowing the judgment okay. of what's coming coming for you, man. You know, and you, you so so much so, so so bold in it, okay. You want to come up against us, man, the men of the Lord, that actually stand for righteousness, man. Okay, you don't understand or you don't, or the gravity of the situation that you're in, okay, and what's going to happen to you, man, okay. Because of your, because of your arrogancy, man. Okay. Go on, hear your face, sir. Uh, just to show that you know when these guys come up to us, man. Really, the men of the Lord, we're we're the humble, man. You know, and they're the proud, the pride, and you know the scripture is gonna quantify that point. This is Sirach 13 and 20. It says, "As the proud hate humility," and that's really the point I wanted. As the proud hate humility, so doth the rich abhor the poor. But the point is, the proud hate humility. So when they're walking around with signs saying pride, and they're Can't getting on with everybody shit. else, they come up to us. Why? Because they hate humility. If we was of the scripture tells if we was of the of the world, the world would love us. Mm -hmm. But because we're not of the world, the world hates us, man. Yeah. Showing you, we're we're in line with the scriptures, man. If they were people of God, surely, surely there would be some. Um, they would be going after uh, people and saying, "Look, man, this is the humble and this is the pride." There would be a difference between them, well, but there ain't. There's thing. a difference if, if between us and them. Place, this wouldn't be allowed to go on. Can't. Which means all the inhabitants of this world are ungodly, man. Because you ain't trying to do shit to shut it down. Ain't nobody speaking up against it. They're just letting it happen. It's only us that are sighing and crying that these things are abomination upon the earth, man, should be destroyed. That's only us saying that, man. So anybody that's not got that that, um, that tone is of this world, man, of Satan's world. Okay, they're not they're not godly people, man. Okay. Um, Isaiah thirteen verse eleven, please. Up. Now this is Isaiah chapter eleven verse thirteen. It says, the envy also of Ephra Ephraim mm -mm. shall depart. 13 and 11. 13 and 11. All right. It says, and I will punish the world for their evil mm -hmm. and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. All right. So your destruction's coming, man. Okay, because the Lord is looking to punish the world, man. He ain't looking to save all the inhabitants of it, man. He's looking to punish it, the majority of it. Okay, except for his remnant. Okay, the few men that he chose now, the nation of Israel, man. Okay, but he's looking to punish everybody else, man, because everybody else is evil, man. What they do and what they promote is evil. Okay, not the way the most side does things, man. Okay, you're doing the things that Satan wants you to do. Okay? Um, Jeremiah the 4 verse 22 please all. So, okay, um, Jeremiah chapter 4, four verse 22, 22 yeah. uh, This is Jeremiah 4 and 22 For my people is full foolish They have not known me They are sottish children and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. All right, so that's speaking about our people, man. Like I said, you got Jacob involved in that more and more in, in, the, in these, these 
fucking events. Okay, but they don't know shit, man. Okay, they're, they're following the crowd. Okay, they're following the world. Okay, which is gonna get them destroyed. Okay, it says here that they, they have not understand they are wise to do evil, man. You think you're smart? Thinking you're doing the right thing. Oh, yeah, you know, equal rights, and you know, no one should be uh, um, discriminated against, and blah blah blah. Because you know, us black, black people have been discriminated for years, and you know, you know, it's, it's not nice. Well, shit, no, it ain't nice, man. But the fact is, man, what what you're getting involved in is is, is the most I'm not with it, man. Okay, he, he ain't with it. Okay, therefore, it's wrong. You should be standing up and defending things that are wrong in the eyes of the heavenly Father, man. Okay, but you just think, oh, because you know persecution is, is was bad for us. Yeah, of course it was, man. The most I said it was bad. <laughs> You know, but it was necessary. Okay, well, you know, what these things are going on now, man. A most side frowns upon it, man. Okay, you, you, you're you just a bunch of fools, man. All right, it says, but to do good, they have no knowledge, right? Because you're not looking for, for for that knowledge, man. Okay, you're going off base of your own emotions, your own thoughts, because you think you, you, you know everything. Yeah? Making your own decisions, basically. And how, how do you know? How do you know what the right decision is? You ain't been taught in the right ways. Ways of righteousness. So you're not one to judge. Okay, that's why you're getting all fucking wrong. Okay. Now, um, Romans chapter 1, verse 28. Uh, this is the book of Romans. Chapter 1, verse 28. It says, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind. Okay, so we're dealing with a bunch of reprobates. That's that's who we're dealing with. A bunch of reprobates. Okay, go on. It says, um, to do those things which are not convenient, mm -hmm. being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, Murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, like we were saying earlier, inventors of evil things, man, mm -hmm. on their beds, disobedient to parents, uh, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful. Who knowing the judgment of God that they commit such things that they, are, which, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Okay, why do you know that? Because we're the ones telling you about it, man. We read we read out of scriptures, man. Okay, pride is not good for people, man. Okay, you need to discard pride, man. Okay, that is not good for you. Okay, humility is good for you, man. Okay? But we tell you the judgments according to your ways. Okay, and we tell you that you need to, to basically put that aside, man. You need to repent and do no do those things no more, man. Okay, but you don't you don't take no heed of that. Okay? Go on. Who know in the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Alright, and like I say, because you're of the world, you're Satan's kingdom, okay, you're happy that everybody's getting together and doing all these things man you know you're getting on people for not joining them yeah can't can't you know not in the spirit of things yeah spirit you're trying to pride. demonize people oh what you're not standing up for the cause all that kind of madness man putting pressure on people man you know like, like i said man this world is evil man and all this pride nonsense man is is getting people more and more into wickedness man which is going to draw you closer and closer to destruction man yeah man you got you got what eight-year-olds five-year-olds and little children carrying flags yeah what the fuck <laughs> they even doing there man <laughs> what the fuck they even doing there i've seen grown-ass men just no no woman i, I don't know what's going on with that but he had children there with him yeah some young little children bringing them to the thing man, yeah, like, man. Why, why are they even there why did you have you even brought them along it's because you you're indoctrinating your children man yeah but they have in a the ways of esau Hmm? But apparently they have a choice. 
Yeah, man. This is bullshit, man. You don't get choice. You get forced fed it, man. Mm -hmm. When when Esau stands behind side and he puts laws in place, man, he force feeds you shit, man. And you get you teach people like they're, they're demons for you know or evil people because they don't want to back that cause. No one asked me if you know. See, no one asked me. They just went straight ahead and, and done that shit, man. No, mm -hmm. like it was it was their right to, to, to do that. Well, guess what? And, um, Malachi chapter four verse one. Because he saw him get fucked up, man, for all this wickedness he promoted on the earth, man. This is Malachi chapter four verse one. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble because there ain't nobody prouder on the earth than Esau man because he knows what the fuck he's doing man mm -hmm. and these children have had it good since they've been on top man so yeah they're, they're the most proud man go on and the day that cometh shall burn them up saith the Lord of hosts that it, it shall leave them neither root nor branch that's right man but like we keep telling the people, man, there ain't gonna be no more of Esau after he's done his time in slavery, man. Okay, there ain't no defending him, ain't no one trying to save him or help him or trying to establish him as, you know, some sort of employee. <laughs> okay, no, he could be he could be eradicated, man. Okay, because all 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 these purposes is, is to, to to spread evil, man. Okay, and you know, in the kingdom, we don't need someone like that, man. No, we, we don't need to. Someone, you know, he's, he's the equivalent of Satan in the, in the, in the, on the physical side. He's the equivalent, man. You gonna be in your ears. Oh, maybe, maybe we should, you know, do this or oh, I know. Yeah, he he is Satan, man. He's yeah. in the in the ears of people whispering dumb shit to them to get them get them fucked up. Yeah, and he usually uses the women to um, perpetuate that that um, strong drink, man. All right. Oh, Esau uses... brings trouble, man. Yeah. He uses that strong drink through the ears of women because women have no women despise in this society government. They despise government, especially by the governing of their of the man of their household or the man that plows their field, right? Their husbands. So Esau explo uh, you know exploits that opportunity to further push you know his uh, philosophies, man, such as pride, you know, as if it's. You know, anything that's an abomination is exalted in this kingdom. And pride's one of those things. Uh, I've got one more. It's Proverbs 16 verse 5. Uh, this is uh, Proverbs 16 verse 5. It says, everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Okay, so you're straight abomination, man. You talk about pride shit. Okay, you're proud of this, proud of that. Okay, you're an abomination to the Lord, man. Okay, like I said, that is not, it's not a, uh, uh, what do they call that? That's a um, characteristic that is good in a person, man. Okay, the only person we can grow in and be proud in is Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. That is it. Because without him, man, Hey, we're nothing, man. Okay, and that's the real truth, man. We're nothing. Right, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay, so we have to acknowledge every time anything have you know goes well for us or whatever, man. That always attributes to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. Right. And you have to thank the Lord, man. And that's what it's all about. Because the Lord wants His His, his praise, man. Because these ones are like, just given. That's like you receiving something or somebody, and you acting like a fucking bastard and just. Snatching the thing and walking away without saying thank you. Ungrateful bastards, man. Okay, that's disrespectful, man. And no one will like a dis disrespectful child, man. Hey, I don't know, nobody likes a disrespectful child, man. You know, and that's that's what it's like. All these people are getting things, even like most hypervisor, everybody, even though they're wicked and all this kind of stuff, whatever it is. They